On this video I'm gonna show you how you can fix Logitech Superlight X mouse side buttons double click issue with no soldering. I'm gonna briefly walk you through the process and share some tips in case you are considering the same fix for your mouse. I'm sure this same procedure might be applicable to some other mouse models as well. To complete this fix you will need a three different things. A small Philips screwdriver, another set of mouse feet because the ones we will be removing might not be reusable once they are removed from the mouse and as a third thing you will need flat cable module which you can buy for example from AliExpress for about 7 euros including the shipping and by the way this video is not sponsored by anyone so if you find it somewhere cheaper or prefer some other online shop then of course please buy it from there so first obviously we have to open the mouse by removing the mouse feet as you can see and underneath the mouse feet you can find six different little screws where the three of them are in the upper part and another three are at the bottom part then after the screws have been removed please gently try to open the mouse by taking apart bottom part and mouse uh, shroud or upper part if you prefer please notice that the PCB is connected to the upper part with two different cables one of them is a battery and another one is a flat cable we will be replacing in this video please take time and gently remove cable one by one because the more force you use the bigger the chances are that you might damage your mouse and once the parts are taken apart we'll be focusing on the one with the upper shroud and basically the thing is that we need to unscrew every screw we can see from this angle i strongly recommend you to pay extra attention on these little screws because once you drop them on your floor you might have a difficult time finding them there are two additional screws underneath the battery so we will have to remove the battery as well and please try not to bend the battery because bending it might damage the whole battery after the battery has been removed we need to unscrew these screws and obviously take these left and right buttons off to be able to locate the flat cable we want to replace there is a one screw in front of mouse wheel you want to unscrew it as well and now we can see that the upper shroud is removed the next task is to replace this flat cable this flat cable is extremely fragile, it feels like it's made of thin glass, so you want to pay extra attention at unplugging it from the PCB. I was able to damage this connector a bit from one side, so that's a good example how fragile these things can actually be. And once you unplug the cable, you can gently remove it from its place. If you look close enough, you can notice that I'm actually using a different switch as compared to the original one and the new ones are blue calic. I have selected this blue calic just for the curiosity if anything else. Gently put this new cable back in the place. It's kind of difficult because it might want to come off all the time so you need to keep it in place while plugging it back in the connector. Once these things have been put together obviously it's time to put the whole mouse together by screwing all these screws back in their places. Once you have only six screws left, which is basically putting the bottom and the upper part of the mouse together, before that we need to connect these two cables back in their connectors. Uh, connecting them is quite difficult because the cables are extremely short and yet we still need to deal with this flat cable as well on this part. Once you connect them you can of course put the whole mouse back in together by gently pressing the parts together until they are sitting as they were before we have opened the mouse. And then obviously we need to screw these last six screws. After that we just installed the new set of mouse feet and basically that's about it. I have tested this mouse with Logitech software whatsoever and no issues there so it seems that the new module is detected as the original one and in my testing I haven't noticed any issue with the side buttons whatsoever so I would assume that the mouse is officially fixed. If you want to see how am I fixing 2000 euros graphics card noise issue please check this video out.